about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man for your life with house and home. Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to another house and home episode. It was quite a long weekend. I'm sure you all had a great one. Now to our lineup for tonight, and in no particular order, we have Cooking with Goodman Filder, Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, Animal Plus, Shopping with Brian Bell, this month's edition of Banking with BSP, and of course, Snapshot. To begin, we have Cooking with Goodman Filder. Enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Richard Namali. I'm from KC Catering Services, 100% P&G nationally owned and operated catering and events company. On today's house and home show, we're going to be showing you how to make simple finger food incorporating Goodman Filter products. Because at KC Catering, we use Goodman Filter products not only for its range but for its quality. So on today's finger food menu, we're going to have for you some veggie meatballs, we have some sweet and sour chili chicken wings, and some coconut crumb prawns. So we're gonna start off with the meatballs. Here we have 500 grams of mince, we have 200 grams of mixed vegetables. You can either choose to use fresh vegetables, or we have frozen ones here. So basically we're just gonna crack some eggs. So I have two eggs here, which I'm gonna put in. So the egg acts as a glue. So we're gonna mix it all together so it all sticks together. So we'll make a bite-sized mince balls. So we're just gonna mix everything together. Just mix it through. Once everything is mixed through, we're gonna make little balls out of it. All right, so basically the meatballs are done. So to hold the meatballs together, you can use breadcrumbs. In this case, that is good for the flour. So it's just acting as a glue just to hold the meatball together when it's cooking. So now, we're gonna start with the chicken wings. So I've already cut the chicken wings up. So basically, when you get the chicken wing, it comes out like something like this. So I cut it out, cut the tail off, and we're gonna cook this part. So I've got a mix here. It's basically good and filled up sweet and sour chili sauce and oyster sauce. All right, so we're just gonna dip the wings into the sauce and put it on our tray so we can put it in the oven. So basically, just throw your rings, throw your wings in. Just mix it in the sauce. Put it down on the tray. Basically it. That's all done. We're just gonna add some oil. So we've got some Goldman Filter Crisco oil. Just gonna put some oil on the tray. And that's done. 
that goes straight into the oven. So while our meatballs and chicken wings are cooking in the oven, I'm going to show you how to make the coconut crumb prawns. Firstly, you have to clean your prawns. So we have here 500 grams of banana prawns. You can choose tiger prawns too, but I prefer banana prawns because the coconut crumbs stick to the banana prawns better. So you take up the head, take up its legs, then you take up the shell. To make it more presentable, we leave the tail on. And then we slit it down the middle and we clean the insides. So that's practically what we're going to do with all the other prawns. And then I'll show you how to mix it through the ingredients. So basically we've cleaned our prawns now. So we're gonna dip it, I have here plain flour, an egg wash, which is basically 200 mils of milk and two eggs, mix it, mix it around, add some salt and pepper, and then you have some desiccated coconut. So this is called coconut crumb prawns. So take our prawns, put it in the flour, then into the egg wash, dip it in, make sure you hold it by the tail, so you don't get messy, straight into the coconut. So we do that with all our prawns, and then we'll cook it on high heat. So if you don't have a fryer, you can basically use a frying pan, fill it up with some oil, and when it's hot enough, then you can deep fry your prawns. Chop that all in. It's probably gonna take about two minutes to cook. You see it's very hot. So we just wait for that to cook. So you know when it's cooked, when it's really brown. So the prawn's almost done now. Just another 20, 30 seconds. So yeah, that's about it. So all the prawns are cooked now. You can turn off your stove. So now we've finished the coconut crumb prawns, we're going to take out the meatballs and chicken wings. That's about ready now. So that's about it. Um, I have here I've set some sauces. So this is basically a chili mayo sauce. It's just 30 grams of mayonnaise with some sweet chili sauce. Just mix that around. And that goes well with the prawns. This is just mayonnaise, we can add some lemon to it. So you can use that as a dipping sauce for your chicken wings. I'm just gonna cut some lemon and then squeeze a bit. That's basically it. We'll just mix it around. So basically that's it. We're gonna start plating now. So this dish is very easy to make. You can have it done in less than 10 minutes, 20 minutes tops. If you have friends and family coming over, it's just a quick and easy bite.
All right, there you have it. Thank you for watching this edition of Cooking of Goodman Builder. My name is Richard Namalu. If you have any inquiries, you can email us. And yeah, good friends, good food, good my filled out. Good night. Now I'm craving for that. Thank you, Richard, for another amazing recipe there using quality products from none other than Goodman Fielder International. So pay them a visit. And remember, viewers, good friends, good food, that's Goodman Fielder. Coming up after the short break, we join Dr. Ambi for more of her insights into living a productively healthy and positive lifestyle. Welcome back. As mentioned before the break, here now is Dr. Ambi. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Good evening and welcome to Healthy Minds. I'm here with Dr. Ambi and the topic that we'll be discussing tonight is invest in our children. Thank you, Dr. Ambi. I believe our viewers out there are looking forward to learning more new things from you and to, to actually know that this is a very important uh, topic that everyone should take into consideration. And so to, Dr. Ambi, to begin, Tell us a bit about how invest in our children relate to healthy mind and how should we invest and why should we invest? Thanks, Trish. I think it's a very important topic. And we were same big blood through law. You have a, a, a not through same talk or same invest in children or adolescents. So today we will talk about more in adolescents, Trish, because uh, it's one of the age group they might turn around and where they we need to put a lot of uh, uh, effort to make them a healthy adults in the future. So we was by me talk or same one name. Adolescents are very important phase of our time. You know, it's a time where there is a critical time and by you looking most in, there is a physical, mental, emotional, spiritual and social developments are happening. It's a rapid uh, uh, development happens at that, uh, especially at the adolescence. So by you looking most in, this is like crucial question uh, Trish ask or Sam, hello, important through for our social economic development and our society's development, our children are our future. So we really have to look at it. Now think him how now you may can make him all picking any blue, you may come up good plan a strong blood through. But you look him or Sam, lo, WHO, all, all one plan, director me talk or Sam, children or adolescents are like butterflies. Like I said, butterfly got beautiful color and wings and stuff, or little, all kind, kind color and stuff. Also, all picking in it too. Aim all by all same. They're going through a transition period, but yet they are very fragile. So what they were, they need a quite proper nurturing and proper care, and also safe and supportive environment that they can grow and develop themselves. So like also me talk also butterflies now also low. Uh, the wings are so colorful. They also that adolescents when they are changing that crucial point of changing transition. But you look him also. They have got a boundless energy in them and you know what's all happening in the whole yes and they have got good ideas they got good enthusiasm they got good potential but the important they are our important assets or same now the all what we have to do we have to put enough uh, decisions to bring certain issues to bring them uh, 
properly so that the, the, they will be our resources and they are our uh, future resources. So healthy adolescents are highly productive. You, you know a lot of children, adolescents are, because adolescents when we are talking about now, all viewers, all same, 10 to 19 years old. And this like age group, miss our penis lol, plenty papa mama am come, now kind kind problem to am come up. So by you asking Trish, low, how now, how you me can uh, straighten this issue because this is the age group they become highly sick they end up in the uh, you know hospitals and they also can die because they think they are grown and they are smart and they are strong so they think that they know everything and that's the time <laughs> all thinking of them oh you know right way em uh, all go or some big head click click i think me using this latin term or say you all pr plenty of papa mama come say hey picking blow me and big head straight huh? but also they they got so much of energy in them they don't know where to channel them so we need to actually channel them in the right way to like I was saying put in one plant huh? right. you put in waran you put in all kai keblo plant about then um, plant by grow good plants suppose you know put in one plus something and a mere plant by die so you may make him plenty garden now you save or how now you nurture him mm -hmm. all uh, you know plants now kai keblo you me or saying you me must look out him all picking in too straight That's you right. see Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi was proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Thank you, Dr. Ambi, for that delightful insight, and I hope your viewers have taken down some very important notes made mentioned during the segment. All right, when we come back after the break, we take a look at what Brian Bell has in store for us tonight. This should be exciting because it's something that we all certainly look forward to. So stay tuned. <laughs> Now I am sure you all enjoy shopping at Brian Bell. Well here is Leon with more valuable tips and ideas just for you. Good evening and welcome to another segment of Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm your host, Leon Gowie. There are a lot of specials you can find here at your Brian Bell Home Center. And tonight, I will show you my top three pick, not in any particular order, of awesome, great quality products you can find here at Brian Bell. Now, when we talk about specials here at Brian Bell, the real winner are the customers. Because you get what you're paying for in the products, great quality products, plus you save a bit of money. And here at Brian Bell, we have a range of our great quality products that are currently on special. For instance, when I was a little boy, I always knew that Brian Bell sold great quality televisions. Now that I'm a little bit older, I can truly appreciate the great quality televisions we have here at Brian Bell. And guess what? These televisions are going at amazing specials. Watching TV has become a favorite pastime for many people. Whether it's watching your favorite show, an interesting documentary, or a sporting event, televisions have become a huge part of our societies. The first product in my top three is a TV. Now if you're looking for a quality television, then Brian Bell has that TV for you. Check out this sharp 40 inch Aquios television. Prices have been slashed on it. That's crazy, right? Nah, that's Brian Bell. Now you can catch all the action, drama, comedy and thriller of your favorite programs. All at an affordable price. When I say this TV is of the highest quality, I mean it. Now the brand Sharp has been around for many, many years and they've always improved with new enhancements in their technology to give you the best quality for your buck. This LED LCD TV is top of the range that will give you viewing satisfaction. Its slick design and high def picture quality will make viewing a pleasure. You can connect your external hard drive and watch your favorite movies or documentaries. Now the second item or product that I'll be showcasing in my top three 
is this 0.65 kVA genset. This is a PowerMate genset. It's small and portable, but it's also very powerful. This genset can light up at least six light sources or three light sources and a small TV. This genset is one of the most sought after gensets at its size capacity. It's easy to move and set up and its portability allows it to be conveniently carried to where it needs to be. Now PNG has some remote locations. Now, if you're ever going to these locations and you know you're going to need an extra power source, this generator is perfect for you. With its two-stroke zoom engine and its 0.65 kVA power made engine, this genset is economical. Not only is this genset economical, but it's also backed by Brian Bell's service and guarantee. And should there ever be a problem, we have great service parts that you can get from Brian Bell. Be sure to ask our sales team prior to purchase if this genset is suitable for you. Different needs require different size gensets. Now the third and final product that I've chosen in my top three is this Tramontina cookware set. The reason why I've chosen this set is because one, Tramontina is a quality brand sold by Brian Bell and it's made in Brazil. And two, well, I love to eat and I'm good at eating. Tramontina is a quality brand that not only specializes in making garden tools and agriculture tools, but also make a range of quality cookware goods that we supply here at Brian Bell. And we have amazing specials on our Tramontina cookware from our single pieces to our multiple piece sets that can cater to all your needs in the kitchen. I know us Papua New Guineans, we love our food. And we have diverse cultures, but preparing and eating food is one thing common in all cultures. However, in our day-to-day -day needs, you will need good pots and pans that can do the job for you, keep you sustained and help you survive. Tramontina has a great four-piece set that is perfect for you. They have the frying pan, which is perfect to cook your eggs, the 0.8 liter saucepan, which is good for heating up your bully beef or your braised steak and onion. There's the bigger two liter pot, which is perfect for boiling your rice. And lastly, the casserole dish, which is absolutely perfect to cook your greased kumu and chicken. Like all Tramontina pots and pans, this set was made to last. It has firm and steady handles and a durable non-stick lining inside the pots and pans. This four-piece set is an ideal fit into anyone's kitchen and will effectively cook your next meal. Brian Bell also sells an impressive range of Tramontina crockery that can help you prepare your meals or enjoy your meals. We've got great quality ladles, scoops, spatulas, dining knives and forks and an excellent range of professional kitchen knives. Check out this 12-piece Tramontina Churrasco fork and knife set. There's six table forks and six five-inch knives. It's dishwasher friendly and made from stainless steel blades. And with the steady handles, it's good for gripping while cutting through tough meat. The reason I mention this product is because I enjoy a good barbecue meal. Now, oftentimes I'm let down because of the cutlery set. With this cutlery set, you will not be let down. In fact, it'll make your meal that much better. So as you've seen tonight, Brian Bell has some great specials available here at your home center. Come on down, check out our gensets, our TVs, and our Tramontina goods in the cutlery and the cooking pots and pans. And always remember, great prices, great products, that's Brian Bell. Until the next segment, good night and God bless. Brian Bell Specials, wow, you heard right. All the genuine products of selected items going on special. I'm sure you can't afford to miss that. So head on down to Brian Bell Centers and remember, great products, great prices, that's Brian Bell. There's more coming up after the break. Stay with us. Now we have Godwin Aki bringing to you another wonderful edition of Animal Plus. Enjoy.
welcome to Animal Place. Now, today I will be talking more about elephants. And yes, we're here in Bali at Ubud. And this is where the elephant safari is. Now, if you're traveling as a tourist to Bali, now this is one of the things you do not want to miss out. So make sure you and your friends or your family come here to Ubud and see all the elephants do their thing. Now, there's going to be an elephant show a little later on. But uh, yeah, as you can see right now behind me, there's an elephant. Um, probably playing around with the leaves um, but yeah so you're in for a real treat One of Bali's best and must-see attractions in Bali is the elephant sanctuary in the village of Taro. The elephant sanctuary has a total of 31 elephants, including four baby elephants. The safari park is an excellent attraction and a way to learn more about the endangered Sumatran elephant. The elephant rides are the main feature, but you can learn about elephants in the process. You can also take photos with these majestic creatures. The little show put on by some of these elephants are entertaining and you can see why, as I was thoroughly entertained, educated and thrilled. Here the elephants are very well taken care of and the grounds and facilities are so clean and well maintained. One of the best adventures for me was being able to get up close and friendly with no fear at all with these giant creatures. Most of these elephants were relocated from the island of Sumatra and were brought to Bali to the village of Taro to be taken care of. Here the elephants are trained and have a carer each to take care of them. In a day each elephant at least eats up to 250 kilograms of food and as you can see how big they are, well they weigh up to a ton or two. In other countries like Africa, people are beginning to realize the importance and benefits of taking care of these magnificent creatures and the country can survive at the same time learn from ecotourism. Back to Bali, to the village of Taro, that's exactly what they are doing and at the same time controlling the population of elephants for future generations. One thing I can say is that make sure you and your family pay a visit to the elephant sanctuary anytime you are in Bali. And finally, having done this trip, especially to visit the elephant, was a tick of my bucket list. We are back here in the sanctuary. Now that ends our trip for today's elephant rides. Uh, elephant um, fun day where elephants got to do certain things that lots and lots of um, tourists got to saw. Um, and you've also seen that as well. Um, so yeah, if you ever want to come to Bali, make sure you come up here to the elephant sanctuary. There's so many fun things to do with your friends and families. Until then, it's time for me to head back to my hotel. I'll see you next time.
Those elephants look absolutely amazing, Godwin. And Bali looks like a great place to go for a vacation. And the sanctuary is doing a great job, taking care of phenomenal animal. Super interesting, right? Banking with BSP is next, so do not leave that seat. Welcome back. Thank you viewers for your time with us so far. Here now is Rosemary for this month's edition of BSP. Good evening viewers and welcome to another BSP program. Tonight we will take a look at all our CSR activities from January to this month March. We first begin with our community project initiative which was introduced back in 2009, where BSP staff and their families around the country participate in rebuilding a community where the bank operates in by renovating a classroom or clinic, constructing a basketball court, a bus stop or a grandstand, or even renovating police stations and donating much needed items to help empower them in further policing the community. In 2016 this year, BSP will deliver 45 worthy community projects throughout Papua New Guinea worth over 1.1 million kina. Two of these 45 projects have been successfully completed and handed back to the communities, with first being the Wabek Branch project, which included the renovation of a classroom and a new water tank for students at Sengurap Elementary School. The second project to hand over this year was the Lay Top Town branch where they refurbished the ablution and toilet facilities at the Buimo Health Clinic in Lay. What was a common shared facility for male and female staff and patients is now a renovated block with separate areas to use. These projects are assisted by local contractors, however, the staff and families give up their weekends to help the local contractors to help complete these projects. Well done to the Wabeg and Lay Top Town branches in being the first to deliver your 2016 community projects. This community project initiative is also rolled out in our Pacific Island branches, Fiji, Solomon Islands, Cook Islands, Tonga and Samoa. If you want to know more on what other projects delivered in previous years, visit our website which is shown on the screen now. Moving into the sponsorship events, BSP supported the launching of the SME policy and master plan in February with a sponsorship of 50,000 kina. All SME in PNG will now have a platform to help support their small businesses in the country. Also, last month, BSP continued to support a most worthy cause in PNG, the Operation Open Heart Program, with a donation of 100,000 kina towards the program. Many Papua New Guineans have benefited and undergo vital corrective heart surgery during this program. A total of 19 Australian medical professionals arrived in Port Mosby to continue the successful Operation Open Heart Program. Six Papua New Guinean specialists were part of this team. The Operation Open Heart is held annually and for 2016 there will be two scheduled visits, the first in February and the next will be in July. Another worthy cause that BSP supported was the Cyclone Winston effect in Fiji. BSP Fiji donated 100,000 Fijian dollars including various donations of food and much needed items to the victims. Apart from the bank contribution, BSP staff in Papua New Guinea contributed almost 12,000 kina to support the restoration program in Fiji. Now with all the activities happening, we need to be mindful of our actions that contributes to the global warming in the world. Now this month, BSP in Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Solomon Islands, Cook Islands, Samoa and Tonga 
have all joined the 178 countries and territories around the world to observe Earth Hour on Saturday, 19th March. BSP switched off all the non-essential lights from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. local time to mark the Earth Hour. This effect is in line with our ongoing Go Green campaign. This is done as part of the BSP's Go Green initiative to raise awareness on environmental issues and to stand with millions of people worldwide to shine a light on climate change. Well, this concludes our program for tonight. Join us next month for more PSP updates. Until then, good night. Thank you, Rosemary, for the financial updates that we needed. Truly informative. Now, due to the flock of demand through social media, friends, we bring back to you the Fashion Week on Snapshot. That's next, so keep watching. Tactical security accessories. Do you think it's fashion? Well, technically, yes. It's a good chance to show people different types of fashion wear, um, especially uh, gear that normally you don't see worn around Mosby. So that's why I'm, I'm really uh, happy to be a part of this uh, modeling campaign with Marks and The One. Um, they've got a lot of unique fashion styles, so I'm just happy to be a part of you know, showing people different styles of dress. This outfit suits only securities. You can normally see people wear those outfits out in the streets. But you can also find the exact type which is normally worn for fashion wise. By the way, comparing those security gears with some of our own local security gears, I'm pretty sure you've seen them only in their uniforms. I think they need to be fully equipped for protection too. Like this one. Dancing dresses. These dancing dresses are incredible and amazing, perfect for salsa. But I'm just not sure if we really do have those dancing classes here. But if I do find out that we do, I'm sure going to get one for myself. Casual words. They are normally our everyday wears, the kind of clothes you wear in which you feel comfortable in it and you don't need much but something that is simple yet elegant. Formal wears. Formal wears are occasional wears. These are the outfits that you would want to wear to special occasions such as graduation, wedding, formal night, evening wear, prom, and so on and so forth.
Well, time has caught up with us, but as always, it's been a pleasure having you all on board tonight. And if you've missed out on watching the previous episodes, including parts of tonight's show, you can simply visit MTV Online website to view them all on the House and Home Programs tab. Always remember, viewers, that there is more you can get out for your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. Till then, I'm Victoria Gima. Enjoy your viewing and have a great week. Good night. It's all about the better man for your life.